Hey everyone and welcome back. This week's challenge is similar to last week's and the prize we are getting is the Dinka RT3000. It was released on the day one of the new DLC itself but still costs over a million dollars. 1.3 million dollars to be exact if you have unlocked the trade prize and 1.7 million dollars if not. So winning this car for free is gonna save a ton of money. The challenge for this week is actually easy and takes very little time. A mere 30 to 45 minutes is all that it takes to complete the challenge and win the car. The challenge for this week is very easy just like the last week, I mean it's more like a continuation. Just come amongst top 4 places in 8 of the Pursuit series races. You don't need to worry about coming first, just any place in the top 4. Now sometimes you can just simply carry on with the normal racing cause the players themselves will leave the races making you the only player or maybe one or two other players. This has happened like so many times for me and I've literally done nothing but just come in the first place. And in few of the races I got left with you know maybe two or three other players and all of us will actually qualify for the prize right challenge as we just have to come in the top four places. So it's a win-win situation for all of us. If you have got friends to help you out in this, then very well and good. If not, you can comment down below to see and find players looking for help or to play together. I mean, you gotta make one or two friends in GTA Online if you wanna grind or to be of mutual help or business sale purposes. So that's a good thing actually. Or if that's too much, just follow my method. If you aren't having luck at coming in the top 4 places in these races cause of the crashing players which will literally lose your chances of coming in the top 4 as your beginning is messed up cause that is the most crucial part. If you lose out in the beginning, you know, catching up is gonna be really hard and you'll probably be losing the race. So all you gotta do is apply the same method from basically my previous videos. That is lagging out your internet and making you the sole racer in the entire lobby. In simple words, it's the same method or trick you do to get into a solo public lobby. I've been doing this from like so many years now, you know, just like any videos you see, I'll probably be in my own solo public lobby. So it works the same here as well. Although keep in mind the internet speed varies to everyone. For me, 6 to 7 seconds works the best. So test it out yourself and go with what works the best for you. You don't need to worry about anything else as this isn't a bug or a glitch because if you look at it in technical terms, this is just your internet connection being bad at that present point of time. Also starting the races instantly by going on call from your phone wherever you are on the map saves a lot of time from you having to go all the way back to the LS car meet area or even trying to start from the pause menu which will have you waiting for a very long time. So this will actually save you a ton of time as well. As you can see I get into a session after a race and I instantly go on call for another race. This is a huge time saver to those that do not know about this simple trick. It is going to come in handy to you and also at the same time save you a lot of time as well. So go ahead and come top 4 in 8 Pursuit Series races to be able to win the prize ride challenge car. Make sure to utilize the shortcuts as well as it saves a little bit of time. And once you complete the challenge and get the notification or email, head out to the LS car meet and claim the prize. So there you go. Simple and easy method to win without any failures. Alright everyone, that's it for this quick small video. If there's anything else you all want to see, then let me know down in the comments, do drop the video a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you all and have a good day.